Hello, hello everyone, it is I, Asmus, your favorite Hades and Jekyll here on YouTube, and welcome back to Bendy and the Dark Revival. If you enjoyed the channel and the content, don't delay any longer and hit that subscribe button below. And also, don't forget to come join me and all my other social medias. The Den does go live on Twitch quite often, where all sorts of other shenanigans take place, either by myself or with my other Den mates. Either way... It's been a while since we've last had our fun here in the Ink Demon's Realm, so let's see what kind of trouble we can get into, shall we? Crunching noise again. I don't like it! Oh yeah, because I can't hit that from this side. I can't hit it from that side, from that end. It just sounds grotesque. I have a hidey spot. I got a hidey spot right there. I still need two more of those things, though. That's what's bugging. Ah! He saw me! I was wondering what that noise was. Poor soul. I'm sorry. What? That hurt. Owie. I died. I didn't understand the assignment. Oh, no, sir. Thank you.
Need coffee! Ink spiders! No go! I went down. No! Ooh. That is not what I expected when coming back to fucking Bendy and the Ink Machine. Or Dark Revival. Holy crap! Nightmare fuel. Beer shows our true nature. You shove giant fucking ink spiders at me. What do you expect? Not cool, man. Not cool. Alice? Are, are you there? Easier said than done. <gasps> Baby Bendy! Oh, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Aww. scared of me. Oh good, there's another one. Oop. I'm missing that. Concerned and confused and a little surprised, to be honest. Nothing there. What's up, Joey? There you go. Follow me. But mind your step. This old place is full of surprises. I should know. I've worked here a long time. Mr. Drew? Joey, please. Joey, what is this place? Good this question. studio? These monsters? Am I dreaming? It's a psycho, Audrey. An ink-stained nightmare, forever stuck on repeat. With just a pencil on a dream, and with a little help from the Jet Corporation, it came into being. From what I gather, it exists in parallel the outside world, but completely removed from the march of time. 
and like a record played over and over again, it's begun to crumble, wear down. This studio is a monument to choosing the wrong road. Now, I'll say. it was built for revenge or regret, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's my riddle to solve. Fair. The truth is, Audrey, someone out there is messing with what's in here. Bad things have begun to emerge from the puddles. Wicked creatures that never came from my pen. The worst ones call themselves keepers. Dangerous, deadly folks. They've taken over the old jet workshop just beyond the sewers. Trying to bring what they call order to this world. Freezing the cycle in place. Changing <laughs> the script. Whatever answers you're looking for. You'll find them there. I see. You wouldn't have to have one more of those toolkits, would you? Every great story begins in mystery. Although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become and banish it away. Your best pal. Yeah, all this other shit. But not what I want. Made all your damn food. <gasps> no, that's not what's Damn it! I need the other thing! Don't need this other shit. Don't need food! Above all, never forget, you're here for a reason, Audrey. There's always a reason, even when you can't understand it. You made this world. Why can't you fix it? Because I'm not the man. I'm just the memory. Seventy years. Don't ever lose hope. When in doubt, the answer you seek is usually nearby. We ha all have dreams, ghosts in our past, but those ghosts can give us the path forward. Okay, but you see, what I'm looking for is a freaking toolkit thing. Ah, Bendy, come on, buddy. Come on. Ah. Ah. <clears throat> Man, he is really afraid of me now. I feel bad. Bendy, buddy. Bendy, come back. Bendy, come back to me. What in the world? The fuck? How big is this place? Oh, it's you. Where did you come from? Look. I'm sorry about earlier. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. And I really don't think you want to hurt me either, right? Good. Let's be friends then, okay? What do you say? You and me? Mm, awesome. Yeah. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for the old gent building. What's wrong? Is it a bad place? It's okay. I won't let anything happen to you. We'll go one step at a time. Just you and me. Let's see what we can find. Yay! Bendy! Baby Bendy. Yee! <laughs> I am happy. We made up.
Can I get a damn upgrade? Oh, shit. I didn't need to do that. You wanna hold the weapon? There's that beautiful smile. That's a good guy. Not like the terrifying one in the first one. Of course, I saw that ghost girl out there somewhere. How many batteries do I get? I got 25, I'm good. Eh, else on the full. Holy shit. Are you kidding, developers? The whole ass city! Man, you guys went above and beyond. Oop, funny. I've got a little Bindi following me. I am happy. The fuck was it? He's just running around. He, he's he's being happy. He's being a good boy. I can't open that. Looks like we need to find an ID card somewhere around here. Any hmm. ideas, Bendy? <laughs> Are you actually going to pull one out? Hmm. Okay. I, I thought he was literally going to come and clutch for us right there. Okay, buddy. Here? Nothing in here. Nope. Let's keep looking. Where else, buddy? In there? Okay. Nope. Nope. I'm not in here. <laughs> He's so adorable. I love it. There's nothing in here. Sorry, Ben. You try that one? Nope. Nope. Not in here. <laughs> He's so adorable, I love it. Okay, there. Oh, that's something. The future has arrived. I just didn't know it would get here so soon. Some of the stuff that that's coming out of the gent doesn't follow any of the rules of physics that I know. Hard to believe they started as a brick-laying company once upon a time. Nowadays, we have all the modern conveniences and worse yet, the headaches. Take that ID card machine they've got at the door. They don't bring you don't bring your ID, you ain't getting to work. So I started putting my ID card on my nightstand in my room at the Downside Hotel. It's not the safest place, but at least I know where it is. Downside. Looks like we found a clue. Downside Hotel. Outside hotel. Groceries. Oh, yeah? I'll just start my own place. No. Just sitting there. You are so freaking cute. You know that? You are adorable. 
I've got to get me a bendy plush to go with Boris. Cute nerd. Well, geez, you Jeez. haven't gotten far. Don't do that. Wait, how? How did you get in here? Oh, I have my ways. Can you not? Today, how goes the journey? Slow, but I'll get through. Ah, I see you have your father's never quit go getter spirit. Oh, now you knew my father. Well, newsflash, I didn't even know my father. Or my mother. Or anyone else in my family. I see then. You've chosen to forget the past. I can understand that. <sighs> what are you talking about? Look, I don't think you're ready for this. But hang on to your lunch money. <clears throat> There's something I want to show you. Oh dear. Are you my father, Joey? Wait. What are you doing? Joey? Are you about to have a Star Wars moment? All right, Joey. Joey. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, no. I'll Henry? Is Henry my father? Over here. Come have a seat. This won't take long. Yeah, you can wait. Is Henry Audrey's father? That'd be blocked off, but had to try. I can't believe that actually worked. And I found a secret. Thank you for the memories. I knew there was hidden shit laying around. Again, I'm not going through for, you know, full 100%, but, you know. Like, I probably missed a lot of stuff by this point. story you need to hear. You ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, Audrey, there was a bitter old man who had lost just about everything. Joey. Right. The real Joey Drew. He blamed everyone but himself for his mistakes, but mostly he blamed his old business partner for abandoning their work years and years ago. A man by the name of Henry Stein, great artist and a good friend. In his anger, Joey used an evil machine to create another world. A world made of paper and ink, where he'd torment his own version of Henry forevermore. But one day, a miracle happened. An angel came into Joey's life. A young woman by the name of Allison Pendle. She didn't visit often, but when she did, she saw something good in Joey no one else could, including himself. Through their friendship, he began to see the world with better eyes. So one day, in Joey's cartoon cycle of hatred, he gave Henry an angel of his own to guide him when things were most dark, to always provide hope. It was then Joey decided to make something new. Something he had always wanted, but he could never have. A family. But not a cartoon one. Something real. 
And after many, many tries, he created something that made him happier than he ever could have imagined. A wonderful, loving daughter. Bright, kind, almost human. He created you, Audrey. What? Are you crazy? Yep, Star Wars. I know it's a lot to believe. Who do you think you are? I wasn't born from some machine. I'm flesh and, and blood. I'm not some kind of ink monster. Just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. Take me back. Right now. I'm not listening to any more of your lies. Remember who you are, Audrey. Leave me alone! <sighs> I hope Benny's okay. Ooh. Oh my. Oh shit! Buddy? Uh, I'm confused. Why? I don't like to ask questions. I believe everyone's got their own business. You hear something, you leave it alone. But when you spend as much time in and out of a jug as I have, you learn to keep your mouth shut about things, you know? So when I saw this here ad in the newspaper that reads, General Corporation looking for research subjects pays three fifty a week, I figured it'd be good for me. Easy money, right? With my record, you can't afford to be picky. But turns out something really wrong is going on in this place. I mean, I've seen dead people before. But here, death is like a way of life. A clockwork march. They wheel out the bodies, and they disappear down the chute. Forgotten men from the street, paid to die. Three fifty a week. Okie dokie. This is creepy. Hmm. 
Ah, fucking course. Can you take me to him? He wanted me to find him. I am not. Nope. Not very bright, are they? Not bright at all. Okay, we're gonna save again. The last time was at Mox Lair. That was a hell of a way back. Ow! That's where the ghosts live. Just beyond that door. Hi. Famous prison. The pit. No one ever comes out. At least, they're never quite the same. But I could open the door for you. I do know how. I really do. Uh, thank you. That would... But, but first, maybe play a game. Oh, I love to play games. I like hide and seek best. Find me and I'll open the door for you. I promise. Look away while I hide and no peeking. <laughs> okay. Heidi, huh? Heidi likes to hide. He... Oh, don't tell me she's back out there. Ah, uh, shit. Knew this was gonna be too easy. Get past this motherfucker. Stuff over there, too. I need to grab. Ugh. Where could she be hiding? Dear Heidi. Heard that. You're out here somewhere, aren't you? Go this way. Like, will this open? That will not. Oh, 
But there is a ladder. I didn't notice before. I did not notice this before. Gets me every damn time. Ugh. Every mother fucking time. Every damn time she gets me. Ah. Okay. Oh. Hi, Heidi. British? Now, can you open that door for me? Oh, yes, the door. Yeah. I think you'll find it's open now. All oh, right. And also, let me give you something. Something special. <laughs> Just a small reminder of our game together. Okay. Thank you. Fast travel. What was behind is now ahead. Interact with these linker pipes to fast travel between two specific locations. Dark places you've already been may hold new secrets. Oh, shit. Thank you. Hey, oh. Uh, I need, I need, I need more shit. I'm going to backtrack. Still need more. This is a bad idea. Nope. That's a big boy. That's a nope. The keepers have taken my friend, locked him away like some animal, just because he's big and strong, but they don't need to fear him, no. If they just make sure to feed him on time, Big Steve won't ever hurt a fly. He loves the food from the little devil doctor's best. If only someone would take the long road back through the sewers... Climb up the elevator shaft and seek out his favorite thumping del delicacy. Then they would see how harmless he really is. Oh, you motherfuckers. Yeah, we'll do it.
So, uh... You just want some noms, huh? You just want some noms? Yeah? All right, big guy. Thickness, you chunky butt in my way. All right. Holy mother of the underworld and the ink demon world's crapshoot. That was one hell of insanity. Hell of a lot of insanity. And a lot of ground cover. But we did it. Maybe nowhere close to the finish line. But we definitely got somewhere. Or at least I think we made some kind of dent in the storyline. I'm not too sure by this point in time. But here's hoping. Well. I don't have much more to say. Other than I'm not entirely surprised that the Ink Demon and our little buddy Bendy are one of the same. Context clues aside, it was kind of obvious, but still, poor Bendy. Well, we'll have to see what comes for us next time here in the Ink Demon's Realm. And that said, if you enjoyed the content, go ahead and make your offerings to the Den of the Hadean Jackal by hitting that like button down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. And let me know below in the comment section about what you think of the game so far. And don't forget to come check us out on all my other social medias by clicking the link below in the description or the link up on the banner. And I'll see you next time. So until then, everyone, take care out there and farewell.